Hey guys, it's Avery Carl, Bigger Pocket Short Term Rental Expert, and I'm here today to give you five tips on how you, as short term rental investors, can best weather these very uncertain times that we're in with the coronavirus pandemic. Let's get started. Number one, this is the most important piece of advice that I'm going to give you today, and that is do not panic. Don't panic and sell off all your investments in an act of fear. I totally understand that fear of the unknown is way scarier than the fear of any known element we can think of. I ask you not to make any big decisions about your investments right now. Take a breather, give it a couple weeks. Let's see what's going to happen before we make any rash decisions about our investments. Number two, adjust your listings. In both my beach and my mountain markets, we received a wave of cancellations, as we all did when the coronavirus first started. A few weeks later, a few days later, excuse me, we actually got a wave of inquiries from people who have been social distancing in their homes that are going a little stir crazy and want a change of scenery for their social distancing. So anything you can do to make your listing more attractive to potential social distancing renters Go ahead and do that. So whether that's adjusting your prices, adjusting your minimum and maximum night stays, maybe make yourself pet friendly temporarily, make a list of all of the food and delivery services that service your location and put it on the front of your listing. Anything you can do to make your listing stand out as a place where people can go and social distance, but still have access to their needs, that's gonna be something you wanna go ahead and do. Number three, communicate with your guests. Now's a really good time to turn off all those automations that we love so much and communicate as a human being with your guests. Guests are gonna be extra cranky right now. They've got a lot to think about as we all do. Income, family, you know, what's gonna happen, fear of the future. So they're gonna be a little more sensitive to things about your house that they might not have been three or four weeks ago. You catch more bees with honey. What I would do and what I'm doing is turning off the automations and just having real conversations with my guests to make sure that they're happy. Humanize yourself. Make sure they know that you're a real person and not some corporation that owns a ton of properties like a hotel. Anything you can do to make yourself be more human to your guests is gonna be beneficial to you. And it's also a really good time to just show some grace to our fellow humans. We're all in this thing together and it's not easy for any of us. Communicate personally with your guests and turn those automations off for a little while. Number four, rental arbitragers. I have not historically been a fan of this method, but there's definitely a time and place for it. And I think that time is now. For those of you who don't know, rental arbitrage is a method where where someone will rent your property on a long-term basis with a traditional lease and they'll turn around and Airbnb it on the back end. This is a really good option for people who are maybe don't have the cash reserves in place that they wish they did. They want some security with knowing that their mortgage is going to be paid. I've actually had several arbitragers reach out to me and ask if I have any clients who are worried about their mortgage payments because they would like to go ahead and sign some long-term leases. So that's definitely an option right now. If you're unsure about covering your expenses, reach out to a few arbitragers and see if they might be interested in renting your property long-term. Last, it might be a good time to refinance your property. At the time that I'm recording this, interest rates are really good. If you start a refinance now in March and close in April, your next mortgage payment is not gonna be due until June. That buys you a little bit of time to get your bearings, get your feet underneath you, kind of figure out what's going on before you make any big decisions about your investments. That's it for my five tips. I'm happy to talk to any of you. We're all in this together. Feel free to reach out to me on Bigger Pockets or on my website, theshorttermshop.com. And thank you guys for having me. Let me know how I can help. Thanks. Bye.